Rolling on from the highly successful worldwide fragrance, Fame, Lady Gaga adds Eau de Gaga 001 to her smellography. Eau de Gaga was launched on the 1st of September 2014 in selected European countries and is expected to follow up with a, f a worldwide um, release up till January where it is released in the United States. Eau de Gaga is the second fragrance to be released by Lady Gaga through Coty Perfumes via the House Laboratories. It's also a unisex fragrance aimed for both men and women. The Eau de Gaga fragrance ad right here is just wow. It was shot by Steven Klein and it is bold, fierce and sexy. Lady Gaga looks absolutely stunning on this ad wearing a long ivory silk dress with her long blonde flowing hair and lots of muscular men surrounding her. The image has kind of got like a glass like reflected feel throughout the image. It's a really bold image and I think it really does capture exactly what the fragrance is trying to like portray. At the bottom it has the bottle right in the middle with Eau de Gaga written underneath and right underneath that, the tagline for the adventurous woman and the man who loves her. Moving on to the packaging, the Eau de Gaga box is very sleek and very simple, exactly what Gaga was intending. It's a gorgeous ruby red colour with like, it's got like a, a printing that makes it look like it's textured, but it's not, it's really high quality printing. It's got the silver um, like band there that says Eau de Gaga Paris New York 001 written under it. And on the back it says, just like fame, compounded by Lady Gaga from the House Laboratories in Paris. It's got all the information and the ingredients there, as you would expect from a normal bottle, and the size that you're receiving written at the bottom on the front. All in a very nice sheer silver font. Moving on to the Eau de Gaga bottle, it is very different from fame. Gaga wanted to go for a classic and timeless bottle, and this is exactly that because it is very reminiscent of the Chanel No. 5 bottle, the infamous Chanel No. 5. The bottle is like a trinket shape, it's just pure black with a pure black lid. When you open it up, the sprayer itself is also black, which I like. It's a glass, it is a, a fully glass bottle, so I, I believe every single size is going to be glass. Um, and as will the lid, and it's got a silver plaque there, if you can see that which simply says Eau de Gaga, New York, 001. So, what are the notes of Eau de Gaga? The top notes of Eau de Gaga are sparkling lime, the middle notes are white violet, and the bottom notes are leather and patchouli. Where do we start with this fragrance review? I find that every time I, like, Gaga's fragrances are a lot harder to review because they've got a lot of layering to them and they've got a lot of, like, thought behind how much it wants to, like, what it wants to do. So, bear with me and we'll get through this review. Eau de Gaga is one of those fragrances that rarely nowadays is aimed for men and women. And it pulls off that exactly as she wanted to, and it works. On opening spray, you get this really strong, like, cologne scent with, like, a very freshness from the line. So, Straight off from the bat, I can I personally think that it is aimed more for men when you first spray it. But bear with me, it's not just for men. It kind of progresses, and as the middle note comes through the white violet, it really does show the layering and how it can be aimed for both men and women. The white violet, known as the hermaphrodite violet, is the strongest and most fragrant violet in the entire violet family. It blooms in Europe at the at the end of spring and it's so strong, it's got a really aromatic and aphrodisiac scent that it kind of provides a sweetness but a tartness at the same time. So once the violet kicks in, it kind of brings in this sweetness that, obviously depending on skin types as well, it kind of brings in this sweetness that kind of sweetens up the whole thing. And even though it's got that really cologne scent, the sweetness really balances it out and it becomes this really mellow, sweet scent. As it starts to like fade into the bass notes, like that patchouli, we all know patchouli is a very strong note to begin with. It's a very woodsy, earthy note. And mixed in with the leather that you usually find in men's fragrances, it really gives it this really like strong, sensual trail behind that sweet, that sweetness from the violet. It's such a bold fragrance that a man can pull it off. It's got that cologne vibe that a man gives off and it's also got like a sweet subtle vibe that a woman can give off. 
I personally think that it is more for men. I think when I sprayed it, it smells more of a, of a cologne than I do. But I think that's in the tagline, the adventurous woman. Like, I think Gaga was trying to aim it at a woman that is very strong, is a very bold woman that really doesn't give a shit and just wants a, a statement fragrance that is gonna make her feel really powerful. And I think this does exactly that. It does capture the essence of both men and women. Um, and it's just a, a gorgeous all-round scent. She's really done well with this fragrance. The fragrance was described as bright, sexy, and unexpected, and it is all three. It is bright because it is so powerful and it's such a statement fragrance. It is sexy because of that sexy trail at the end from the patchouli and the leather. And it's very unexpected. Like, when I first got this, I didn't expect it to be like this. I never expected it to be as masculine and cologne as it was. A few side notes on the fragrance. It is one of the rare fragrance nowadays, especially in a celebrity fragrance, that contains 30 natural ingredients. So that is another edge that they wanted to market this fragrance. Another thing I wanted to touch up on is the fact that it's 001. I have a feeling she's gonna do more. It's a bit obvious. I don't know why she would call it 001 for no reason. So you never know, 002 could be like a total female spin-off of this, and then 003 could be a male spin-off. Who knows, but so far, Ode Gaga is pretty amazing. So other Ode Gaga products, as usual, it comes in the standard 30ml, 50ml, and the 75ml masterpiece edition. Don't know, that's obviously gonna be a special edition just like Fame was. And it also comes in a gift set that is not out yet, but it will be coming soon and will come with a lotion and a shower gel. Unfortunately, there are no free gifts for this yet, but as it's just been released, I'm sure they're going to start rolling out a lot of the promotions from it once it starts getting released in a lot more countries. So yeah, just to wrap up my Lady Gaga Eau de Gaga fragrance review, it is a very strong scent. In my opinion, I do feel that it is, on me, definitely a more masculine fragrance, so if you're a, a male Lady Gaga fan, you will not be disappointed with this. Um, it's definitely aimed for both because of that violet. Um, a quick rundown of it, it starts off really bright, really sparkling from that lime. It's a very fresh, like, cologne, like, lime scent, if that makes sense. It then progresses and the wild violet, like, totally, the white violet, sorry, totally kicks in and it adds a very nice, bold, sweet element to it. So it really does become a nice, sweet, ma like, musky fragrance. And as the base notes kick in, it's a nice central trail of um, patchouli and leather, which really makes it really sexy and bold. It's a great fragrance, aimed at both men and women. Let me know what you think of it. So yeah, there we go. That is the end of my Lady Gaga Eau de Gaga fragrance review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You've probably guessed what the big surprise is, and it's my rebrand. Like, look at all the new stuff. I, it's been a long time coming. Um, my amazing friend Robbie, um, House of Design, if you all know him on Twitter, um, helped me with this massive redesign. All of it is his design, and I gave him like my ideas and my creative behind it, and he created this amazing stuff for me including my new website, which you can find linked down there. Um, let me know what you guys think of the redesign, and also, <laughs> link into the video, what do you think of Oda Gaga? Have you got it yet? Are you, are you excited to smell it? Let me know down there in the comments. Anyway, as it's the end of one of my videos, you all know what that means. I always recap some of my older ones. So, over here, go and check out my Beyonce Wild Orchid fragrance review. Up there, check out my Mariah Carey Dreams fragrance review, and over there, check out my Katy Perry Killer Queen fragrance review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, welcome to the new 12604, get ready for some more videos and adventures coming soon, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!